Hello, I am Terry Tripp. Thank you for joining me for 12 Empowerment Truths about Two Sons in One. I know this truth will elevate your life and show you how good your father is. Luke 15, 17 and 18 says, But when he came to himself, he said, How many of my father's hired servants have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will arise and go to, two words, my father. While in the pig pen, he still called him daddy. He still called him his father. He wasn't in church when he said that. He was astray. He was afar off. He was living in sin. He was uh, uh, gone from the Father's house. But yet, in the deepest, darkest place of his life, he still called him Father. Empowerment truth number four, no matter how far you've gone, God is still your daddy. <laughs> Amen. It doesn't matter if you're in a, a prison cell, if you're on the streets, if you're in a crack house, if you're into prostitution, if you're in jail, no matter where you are, no matter how far you've strayed, no matter how far you've gone, God is still your Father. Fellowship may not be there, but relationship is there. You know, this boy still had relationship with his father. Here's what I mean by that. He still identified with him as father. He still related to him as father. However, he didn't have fellowship. There was no communication, so he did not enjoy all the father had provided for him. And this is where a lot of people get goofy. <laughs> Amen. I have my good Pentecostal friends who will say, well, if you don't have fellowship, then you've lost relationship. That's not true. You're just missing out on all the Father has provided in Christ Jesus. You don't have communication, but He still identifies with you as His child. And then I have some of my grace friends who say, this is great. We will always have relationship. We'll always go to heaven. Doesn't matter what we do. So, hey, pour me another whiskey, light up a joint, and let's celebrate. <laughs> That's not smart either. Even if you have relationship, that's great, but the Father wants fellowship. The effectiveness of my witness is determined by the quality of my fellowship. You know, this young son, his witness about his father was horrible. Here he was in a pig pen. Yes, he still had relationship, but his witness was not effective at all. Here he was, the son of a very rich man wasting away in a pig pen. I can just hear people walking by him saying, well, I thought his father was rich. Why is he wasting away? What a horrible witness about his father's love and generosity to him because he didn't have fellowship. So again, the effectiveness of my witness is determined by the quality of my fellowship. It's hard to be an effective witness when you're wasting away in a pig pen. Yeah, you still may go to heaven, but I got some news for you. God doesn't want you in heaven. <laughs> That may be a big statement to some of you, but He wants you here. This is where you do damage to the kingdom of darkness. This is where you're a threat to the enemy. But it is hard to release that kind of life when you lack fellowship. Yes, you got relationship, but the Father wants fellowship. So here's what I'm saying. We need to get our ships together. <laughs> Amen. We need relationship and fellowship. It's all about ships, and we got our ships all mixed up. No, we need both. No matter where you're at, no matter what you're going through, no matter how far you've strayed, God is still your Father. Now, awaken to His goodness.
and develop fellowship with Him. When you do, your life will be an effective witness. There is a major difference in relationship and fellowship. And not many people know this, and that's why many people, including born-again believers, still struggle. They might have relationship, but they lack fellowship. And relationship without fellowship puts you on a sinking ship. <laughs> you need both. You know, Paul said in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 8 and 9, he said, This grace was given that I should preach the unsearchable riches of Christ and to make all see what is the fellowship of the mystery. Did you hear those words? The fellowship. Relationship is good. It's kind of like it gets you in the door. But with fellowship comes the wisdom you need to rule in the house. <laughs> That's awesome. And that is just one empowerment truth from this series entitled 12 Empowerment Truths About Two Sons in One. It has a book, a CD, other materials in this folder that I want to see in your life. And I've made it very convenient for you to receive it. Simply pick up your phone, dial 615-260-4689 or go to terrytrip.com and order. What's the price for all of this? No charge. No set charge. Yes, you heard me correct. All I'm asking is that you help us with shipping and handling. That's just a few dollars. If you would like to donate to our ministry, it certainly helps us continue doing all God has called us to do. But there's no pressure. There's no set amount. You allow the Lord to lead you. You need this book. You need the revelation that's in this book. It's probably the greatest revelation I've ever seen from the Word of God. And this CD goes with it with some other materials, all right? I look forward to getting this to you. Order right now. Come on. Do it now. God bless you.